Hello everyone, this is Elite Pro Jeremy Malfe with Fundamental Tennis. In this video, I'm gonna give you a few simple, easy progressions for your tennis serve in which you can do by yourself. And these progressions will help you to fix any technique on your serve, whether that's you wanna work on your leg drive or your swing path or your contact point, whatever it is that you wanna work on with your serve, these progressions are sure to help you. Or maybe you wanna get rid of a bad habit that you have on your serve, these progressions will help that because it's one thing to understand what you need to do on your serve or what you need to work on, what you need to improve on. However, it's much more difficult to actually uh, make that fix and make it a habit. Okay, so before I get into the progressions here, it's important that you focus on two things on every rep and every progression. And that is you need to really visualize what you are doing. If you visualize, for example, if I'm visualizing my contact point, I need to think about what the ideal contact point is, and that will help me to execute in doing what I'm visualizing. So visualization is very important to help you uh, create a new habit or, or to get rid of a bad habit. Now, the second thing is to focus on how it feels to do uh, that technique or whatever it may be on the serve differently. So, once again, visualize it, every rep, every progression, and also be disciplined in focusing on how it feels, especially how it feels in comparison to when you did the old way. All right, so, once again, it's quite easy to understand what to do maybe on the serve or any stroke, however, really need to have progressions if you want to fix anything on your serve. And again, these progressions are absolutely golden. I use these every week with several players and it has helped them tremendously. So the first progression, quite simple, all you're going to do is, this is something that everyone may have heard of, and that's just doing a practice swing. I always tell my players, if you can't do it without a ball, you certainly aren't, aren't gonna be able to do it with a ball because the ball is a massive distraction. Now, you're gonna do some practice swings without tossing a ball, you're just doing the swing, okay? And after you've done however many you think you need, it could be 10, it could be 30. The next uh, part, part two to this first progression, is you're going to serve with your eyes closed. Once again, you're not tossing the ball. So I'm doing a practice swing with my eyes closed. I'm not swinging really fast, I'm really just maintaining racketed speed. This part of the first progression is to help you focus on the feel the visualized feel. Again, always thinking about those two things in every rep. Now, progression number two. You are going to be uh, facing a curtain or a fence, and make sure you give enough distance from that curtain or fence, so or maybe a wall, so that uh, the ball doesn't ricochet and possibly hit you. So safety first, of course, is important. Now, in this progression, you're simply going to toss the ball up, and then do a practice swing. However, you're gonna have your eyes closed the entire time. The reason you have your eyes closed is because having the eyes open, even if you're not looking at the ball, can be a big distraction because you might think about hitting the ball, you might think about getting it in. By the way, that's why we're facing the curtain or anywhere but trying to get it in the service box because that will surely make it much more difficult to uh, make any change if you're also trying to get the ball in the service box. So, first progression, uh, sorry, second progression here, once again, let me demonstrate it now. Second progression, you're simply going to have your eyes closed the entire swing, and you are gonna let go of the ball, so you're gonna toss the ball. However, you're not trying to hit the ball, and you're not thinking about the ball. Eyes closed, facing a curtain. Don't worry about the ball, just focus on that visual and the feel, all right? Now, I give you one more time here, one more rep. Again, I'm just, I have my eyes closed. I'm not swinging really fast and I'm just focusing on whatever it is that you're working on with the serve. Now in progression three, you're still facing anywhere but the court. Uh, don't worry, in a little bit, we are going to face the court and serve over the net. However, in this third progression, 
You're going to serve and toss the ball again. However, this time you're going to have your eyes open, but you are not watching the ball. You're not trying to hit the ball. In fact, I have an unstrung racket, so it's very unlikely I'm going to hit the ball. I'm actually going to have my eyes on the curtain or on some fixed object. Once again, not thinking about the ball, not trying to hit the ball. I am tossing the ball though because we want it to be at least a little bit realistic. You'll notice each progression becomes a little more realistic and a little more challenging. And by the way guys, I know I mentioned a little bit earlier, if you try uh, to work on some new technique or trying to get rid of a habit on the serve and you serve from the baseline and try to get in the service box, you are not more than likely not going to be able to do that because it's just too difficult to make a change when you've probably hit hundreds, many of you likely thousands or tens of thousands of serves a different way. Now, here we go with this third progression. Once again, I'm tossing the ball. I'm watching the curtain the whole time. So if you can't see my eyes, you can see how my face is here. I'm not looking up at the ball. Another one, I'm not swinging super fast. I'm just, one more time I'll show you here. So I'm watching the curtain the whole time. I'm not looking at the ball, and I'm not trying to hit the ball. Now, in the fourth progression, and by the way, once again, it, however many reps it takes you to feel like you have accomplished that progression. So it could take 10, or it could take 30 or 40. Now, so you're not gonna do these progressions this fast, probably. And you wanna do the progressions a few times, not just once, because it takes, it takes practice to create a new habit. In this fourth progression, you are going to still be facing the same way. We're not facing the court just yet. You're going to toss the ball, perform a swing like usual. This time you are going to swing at the ball. And because hopefully you're using an unstrung racket so you can cut out the strings in a racket you don't use anymore, or you know, maybe some old racket that you don't care about. So I have an unstrung racket. I'm gonna to try to get the ball to go through the unstrung racket head. This is the biggest jump in progressions as now you are obviously looking at the ball and swinging at it. We don't have strings for a reason and that's because I want you to focus on the process of improving whatever it is you're working on with your serve as opposed to being so focused on hitting the ball or trying to get in the court. Once again, that's why we're facing the curtain. Now, watch here. I'll back up so you can hopefully see um, most of me and my contact or lack thereof because I'm swinging through the unstrung racket. I actually accidentally hit it. So once again, I do several practice swings, looking at the ball and trying to hit the ball. I'm sorry, I'm swinging at the ball. However, I'm not uh, obviously hitting it because there are no strings in here. It's not even a big deal if you don't get it to go through the unstrung racket head. Uh, but it's just the, the fact of you are now looking at the ball and you're thinking about the ball a little bit. Progression number five, you're gonna be using your strung racket now and we are not facing the court just yet. That's gonna be the very next progression. Now, with your strung racket, I'm serving into the curtain um, in this situation here. When I swing to hit the ball, it's important that I'm not uh, focusing just on the ball or hitting the ball. I need to stay uh, focused and, and keep my awareness high in visualizing what I'm trying to do with my serve, whatever it may be, to help me execute in doing that. And also focusing on how it feels so I can relate the feeling to help me um, create a, a good execution in whatever I'm working on. So I'm facing the curtain here. I toss the ball up. I'm not swinging real fast. I'm just uh, pretty much maintaining racket head speed for all of these reps in every progression. So I watch the ball, I hit the ball, right? Once again, I'm really focused on doing the technique right, as opposed to, I gotta hit the ball, I gotta hit it hard, I gotta make sure, you know, don't think of those things, just the process. Okay, I'll show you one more here. So I'm watching the ball, and I watch the ball into my strings, hitting the ball with my strings, of course, and that is it for progression five. Now let's get into facing the court. Now in this final progression, there's gonna be a couple different parts to this last progression. And instead of having you serve behind the baseline where your environmental habit is, I'm gonna have you serve from 
about halfway between the net and the service line. If you skip these couple parts to this last progression, you immediately serve from behind the baseline, try to get it in the small service box, then you're very, very likely to go back to your old habits. So now I'm again serving from halfway between the net and the service line. Of course, I'm using my strung racket the rest of the way here in this drill and I'm not even trying to get the ball in the correct service box. I'm just trying to get the ball over the net and maybe inside the lines, okay? If you focus on getting it in the service box, uh, that may get you to uh, go away from your new technique and that old habit may creep back. So we're not just yet serving into the service box. So I'm gonna toss the ball up and just perform my swing. So if I'm working on keeping my elbow higher or I'm working on a, a loose grip, whatever it is, literally anything, I'm just making sure that, you wanna make sure that you're focusing mainly just on that. Think about the ball maybe just 10, 20%. As long as you're hitting the ball, that's good enough for the first few reps, okay? Once you are comfortable with that progression, that part of the progression, you feel like you have a, accomplished doing your whatever it is you're working on and being able to get it over the net as well it really doesn't matter a whole lot where the ball goes again you're then going to serve from behind the service line and do the exact same thing once again you're not worried about where the ball goes okay i'm not swinging super fast i'm just maintaining racket head speed it may take you 10 20 30 reps before you can go to the next progression. And the final progression really is just going behind the baseline and performing the serve like you normally would, except you've got that new technique that you're working on. And then finally, you're served behind the baseline again. However, you're also not just trying to get it anywhere in the court, you're trying to get it in the service box. Once again, I know you may be frustrated that you can't seem to improve your serve technique. You need these progressions. On another note, it's really important to video yourself doing each progression and do so in slow motion if possible so you can see if you're doing your new technique correctly. Because very often people think they are doing something right as it may feel different, but then you see yourself and it's totally different than what you had pictured. If you can look at a pro's serve in slow motion and compare it to your serve and see if you are in the ballpark that would be ideal. You of course need to know what to work on and how everything should look and feel, but hey, that's what I'm here for. I love helping you with your game, so please feel free to scroll down and leave me a comment. Also let me know how the progressions work for you. I'm confident any player can improve just about anything with their serve technique when using these very simple yet quality progressions. If you're still watching, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be first to see all my newest weekly content. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm excited to hear your feedback. Once again, let me know in the comments section if you have any questions about this video or if you have anything you want me to cover in a future video. I love to hear what you're having trouble with or what you're interested in learning. I wanna help you improve your game so tell me what I can do. By the way, I just released a new and free serve training series that will show you one simple tip to fix your toss forever. I'll show you the number one serve power killer and how to banish it forever, and a great tip to adding massive kick to your serve. All for the incredibly low price of free. If that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave a link down below or somewhere on this screen Feel free to check that out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.